<laughs> so much. Fun. Look, when you have room because you haven't killed your children yet, what else are you supposed to do with a dead body? So, uh, what's in that freezer behind you, Kyle? Nothing. <laughs> Are, are you guys done fucking around? We're we're trying to do a show here. We're never done fucking around. That's the point of the we're show. doing a show. Yeah, we're kind of doing a show. Hey, folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. The campaign edition. Uh, as you can tell from the August body here. Uh, yeah, we're doing a campaign edition. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to chat with Discord with us. We got that. Uh, if you want to have a seat here, uh, or if you want to have a seat on the talk show. Let us know. Uh, and uh, as always, don't forget to take a look at our uh, fantastic sponsor, oddfishgames.com. I'm sure Kyle will say that once or twice tonight. Not or positive. Or times. Uh, uh, as we get ready to go, let's introduce you to the cast. How about we do that? Uh, my apologies. We've got uh, some technical issues that we're still working through, but it looks like we're golden. Uh, and Kyle just took off his damn headset. So we'll start with Chris. <laughs> Chris, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, my name is Chris. I play Manise, the Air Cocker Cleric. And uh, I've been doing good of not dying lately, so, you know. You're on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm definitely on a roll. We'll see if we can change that one. Oh, uh, next up is Ernest. Ernest, who are you? Who are, are you playing? Ooh, uh, so my name is Ernest, and I'm playing Lucas, the anti druid. And uh, my goal, as always, is to not die. And uh, this is going to be extra important today since uh, I'm by myself in this town. Oh, oh. That does seem to be a problem, I think. Uh, the the hazards totally. of splitting the party. Uh, next up is Carol. Carol, who are you and who are you playing? Hi everyone, I'm Carol. I play Taryn, my wood elf, or half wood elf, half high elf uh, bard. Mini painting? Oh, well, I mean, okay, it's also, it's like 9,000 degrees here right now, so my brain is melting. This will be fun tonight. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Too much. oh wow, that is terrible. 9,000 degrees up in Boston. Oh, my garage in is Boston. so cool compared to that. So um, I, I did, did she say she's favorite. huffing paint? What's that? I, Keyword I, I, on huff. Trust me. I, I know when I hear the word huff. So I am a commission mini painter. I also am a longtime gamer, sometime GM. Hopefully I'll be a GM on, on here at some point once I have time to actually write something. I started work picking at something, but it's not ready yet. Fair enough. Last but certainly not least, Kyle. Kyle, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Kyle. Your something midnight more voice. more important than me. Odd Fish Games. <sighs> oh, God. That's all I have to say. Thank you. And I'll be playing Dewey Docomel, the Lie Barbarian, uh, outside of the wonderful town of Yaddle, where things are about to happen. Nice lead in. Uh, hey, folks, uh, don't forget, Monday is the actual sign up for Gen Con games. Uh, we at Adventures in Phil Bar have um, two entries, one on Friday, one on Saturday night. Both are going to be two hour games. And oddfishgames.com and Adventure Sense have partnered to go ahead and create one how to RPG with your cat. Bring your cat to the game. They also have two sessions. So go ahead and check them out. Uh, if cool. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, folks. Uh, last time, which was whew, 10 days ago, 10 episodes ago, something like that, uh, these guys finally arrived at Yaddle, courtesy of two weird uh, deity-esque creatures. Uh, Dewey was uh, getting resurrected slash revivified uh, because he got killed uh the group made its way towards the front gates with uh oh that's nice i like that one that's nice I mean, that's yeah that's that's good uh lucas and perpetua have gone into yaddle via a dimension door the other three have been stuck outside with children with the pox uh a tone deaf bard who got lucky <laughs> that's that's 
<laughs> that's beautiful right there that is the french maid outfit is just awesome uh <laughs> So lovely. Uh, and uh, they also had a chance uh, to hang out with a herbaceous uh, hippie, and they opted not to do that because Taryn uh, was concerned. Everybody has now rested, so everybody is now eighth level with a certain degree of uh, abilities and more hit points. As we start the night, we rolled randomly, and we are going to start with Lucas. Lucas, you have spent most of the night flying around. Um, the city of Yaddle, uh, enough to go ahead and get a rough sketch, aka your player map. And as you return to uh, the Ramada Inn, yeah. <laughs> uh, you uh, are you going to use your key to get in, I assume? The key? Yeah. Uh, well, you flew out the window, didn't you? Yeah, the window was open. I flew, uh, I flew back in the window. You know, D12 against me. Let's see if uh, Perpetual closed the window. No, no, no. How are you? Yeah, I fly back in. <laughs> uh, you fly back in, and uh, you immediately notice that the bed is made and your roommate is nowhere to be seen. Give me an investigation check. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't need no partner. That is a modified 21. Uh, you see something shiny on the desk. What is it? It is an orb. I pocket it. There's also a piece of parchment there. What does the parchment say? The parchment says, Lucas, I have left. I need to do a few things. Uh, please hang on to the orb for me. I'm not sure if I can protect it. Also, here is a ring of protection. Please give it to Taryn. I uh, put the ring on. And uh, I throw away the parchment. The paper. I, I destroy the evidence. <laughs> hey, at least I know the truth. The player knows the truth. And that's actually fine. But the character does it. Nope. And that's fine. Trust and me. That's one, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, it is morning. What would you like to do? Um, so it's past the curfew hours, right? It seems like people are out. <laughs> about... yeah. Hello? There's a knock on the door. I open the door. Hold it. Where the hell did Lucas go? <laughs> Lucas is actually opening a door. Uh, no. it, it, it is the uh, proprietor of the inn uh, holding a tray of food. Uh, if you will recall, Perpetuo made arrangements for a continental breakfast to be served for Ooh. extra coinage. Uh, and there is enough for two people. I eat it all. I, I, I thank the proprietor, proprietor, proprietor. I uh, flip a, a tip. What's a, what's a good tip? Like a silver piece? You are staying at the high quality inn. Uh, gold piece? Sure. Yeah, they I flip will, a they, gold piece. They will accept it. Uh, and they will remind you that uh, you and your uh, consort slash bridal suite slash uh, new bride only paid for one night and asks if you will be staying for a second night. Yes, I will stay for a second night. And eight gold pieces. All right, I'll fork over eight more gold pieces. Uh, the proprietor looks around and uh, <clears throat> is um, the lovely bride here? Uh yeah, the, the lovely bride uh, is in the bathroom. Yes. Sure, <laughs> that works. Uh, okay. Uh, let's flip over to the small cops of trees slash solo tree slash Manise hanging out in the upper limbs and uh, Dewey and Taryn down below. Uh, morning dawns anew. Uh Here. Kai or uh, Dewey and Taryn roll uh, D20 straight up. So we're not going to go try to say we try to get back in the city the night before, right? Oh, that was only nine. Or the wee hours of the morning. Uh, that is also a nine. Uh, no bird poops on you, so you are in good shape. 
<laughs> and the good news is when I got here, I dropped my folder and everything is everywhere. So all of the notes I had prepared are somewhere in a large pile. Uh, so I do not remember the name of the person that you were supposed to go see. Sonora. Uh, what is it? Sonora? Sonora. Yes, thank you. Uh, so yes, Sedora is the one rumored to have the secret entrance <laughs> into Sedora. the city. However, you guys have only brushed the area of the refugee camp. So what would you like to do? I don't want to do that. It's the friggin' full of sick people. They are surrounding the entire front gate. So I have left you no choice because I am an What asshole. about the side what? gates or the harbor? Uh, you cannot reach that. Uh, there are no, this is the first gate. There is a second gate into Yaddle. It is further beyond and also uh, covered in refugees. Um, also, you will know that uh, the parapets are guarded by a significant amount of guards, i.e. you try and sneak in around the corner, they're going to shoot you. So, where uh, is so do we know where she is in the camp? Do we even have a clue? You don't even know if she exists or if it's a she. Oh, well, that's true. Well, we do, we've heard the name, we know they exist. But to be fair, we got the name from a horny bard. Have you ever heard the name Santa Claus? I look at it. <laughs> no, I look, Who's I that? Look like, like, so. What does that mean? Usually bards are very yes. well formed, even if they are horny. You haven't I'm watched the Sunday show, have you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's always exceptions to every rule. There you go. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? Uh, the place is already abuzz with activity, uh, although the children with the pox are not uh, anywhere to be seen. So the Eric Hawker does not have to scare them off again. Oh, there you go. Not his plan, but. <laughs> no. no, Lucas is making <clears throat> bad suggestions. Uh, we could just walk in and use my knees as a scarecrow to scare all the sickly people away. How do you no, expect to walk in? I mean, uh, no, the refugee camp, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep all the poxy children away and maybe the adults or, too. Or uh, yeah. we go somewhere. No, we don't go somewhere else. Because um, we got to find... <laughs> we we gotta leave. Find, uh, yeah, we just... Fuck this. We gotta, um, <laughs> I mean, I've got a good amount of gold. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. Actually, actually, Dewey, I do believe you really want to get into the city. I really want to get into the city. You, you, and I'm being the, nice to you guys because we're going to find Sadara here very soon. That's fair. I, I do think a distraction would be a good idea. Just what kind would be... The half-elf who's not there has made a suggestion. Yeah, fire is always a good distraction. Fire yes. always distracts. Yeah. No, we're not going to set the tents on fire, okay? That's I mean, don't you we, think we'd be doing a the, service? Why do we... Are we wait, are we trying to do a distraction to get pull the guards? I mean, because if we're just trying to find this person, then I think we just go up and ask to find this person. Or we are heroes. Yeah. I'm sure the guards would let us in. No. Don't we have some laugh. sort of don't I we don't... have some sort of a thing that we got from someone saying we're heroes and we can get in places? I, I vaguely mean... remember this. Yeah, our little patches. There you go. Let's use our oh, patches. You do? Dewey's got the idea. We can All right. We head into the city towards the guard post. Wait, sure. so Taryn doesn't have one of these armbands, correct? No, oh, she but... does not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's Taryn's problem. Don't you yeah, mean the prisoner? Dewey. Yeah, she could be our prisoner. There you go. Uh, I was going to say she's Sir Robin's bard, but... Or that. Whatever. I... I knew, okay. I just okay. Went. What's your joke, Taryn? You know, all the bards got to tell a joke before they come in. Oh, shut up! <laughs> you know what the joke would be? Me telling a joke. That's what the joke would be. Yes, I. Ah, uh, Maniz, roll 
Give me a D6 as you start to part through the scum outside the door. Oh, well, the four. What? Let's bring this game down. Uh, <laughs> I think you guys have met this person before. I'm not sure. Oh, oh you know what? No, I'm going to use this one. Uh, you hear, ow. Ouch. Hey, knock that shit off. Uh, as a scraggly man in a dirty robe comes running by and he's got an oak leaf branch and he's smacking people. You're healed. You're healed. You're healed. Uh, and the individual is <laughs> apparently insane because he also is yelling out, the power of the deity compels you. The power of the deity compels you. Uh, and he's headed right for three, Terran. So, Manis, can Eric Akras, uh turn their head all the way around? Just wondering. Um, well, I, well, as much as I guess they're like eagle like, so can eagles 180? Or I don't know. I just figure if you run up to the guy, spin your head around, and then start like regurgitating your breakfast, it might be entertaining. <laughs> a nice touch. So, wait, he's just running around. The Exorcist. How hard is he hitting people with sticks? It's not hurting him, it's just and kind he- of an annoyance. And does he look sick or anything? Probably. I don't know. Give me a medicine check. All right, hang on one sec. He's a lunger. <laughs> All right, Terran dice. Oh, my medicine. I don't have much in the way of medicine. Although that's a 17. Uh, you see that he has red bloodshot eyes and giant bags underneath his eyes. Well... Is, that's not the. Does that is that just he's tired or is that some symptom that I of the uh, friggin' plague? It's not a symptom of the plague and it's not a symptom of the pox. So he's probably just crazy. Alcoholic. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, and how? And he's is he? Unless he's like hitting people really hard, I'm just gonna be like, whatevs. He's gonna take a swing at you. All right. Does fifteen get you? Um. No, because I have the tight. I have mage armor. Boy, that's right. I also got to put that in that I cast that spell slot. Swing and a miss. Uh, he continues to run past uh, Dewey, Maniz, D12 against me. Seven. E three. Twelve. Uh, he's going to go ahead and take a swing at my knees. Uh, swing and a miss on my knees. Score. Hey, if he's going to be you next. on by. Keep going. He, he runs away. Uh, All right. The, uh, everybody smells uh, breakfast is cooking. Everybody give me a con check, please. Check. Not save. Check, check, check. Synchronicity. Oh, the- 19. 15. And- uh, Taryn, it, it even smells okay to you today. Okay. Uh, yesterday, not so much. Today, it smells okay. Kyle and Minis, uh, all three of you spot somebody cooking a large pot and they're stirring it. You believe that that is where the aroma is coming from. Do they have any pox symptoms? Uh, medicine check. Jesus Christ, Lucas. I mean, come on. Lucas, we do not hate people. Okay? Uh, 16. Uh, no, I do they, have the drain up poison, yeah. They do not have uh, signs of the pox or the plague. Uh, I'll go up for some breakfast and small talk. No, I won't. By I God, am. I have to go see Alvin. Wait, wait, I'm wait. grabbing food. If, um, okay, if he's grabbing food, then we should, we should get a bite to eat. We should we should That's eat. We're, we're, we're you don't want to meet Alvin on an empty stomach. Uh, uh, have information. The no. cook says, if you'd like a bowl, uh, we ask that you give a donation, uh, something that we can add to the bowl that would give it some taste. Oh, to the bowl. I was going to give him a I bowl. I pull out the drain. <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys. <laughs> this is some seasoning that'll put some hair on the chest. You are truly an odd fish playing this game. 
oh, on fish games. Uh, they're they're looking more for vegetables or spices to throw into the giant cauldron. Ooh. Did we get spices from the uh, the druid lady last night? Uh, no, Taryn chased her off. Oh, that's right. No, they got something before I chased her off. I remember yeah. that. Sure, you guys got oregano. Uh, I tossed <laughs> that into the soup. Oh, man. Uh, was it, it oregano? oregano? <laughs> you think it was. <laughs> oh, man. This uh, I'm tired. okay for this. Camp is going to get fucked up. As uh, all three of you get a bowl, uh, it's hot. Uh, smells okay uh, to Taryn. Smells good to Manise and uh, Dewey. Uh, and it tastes good, good, and okay. Fine. Uh, you all hear the uh, roar of children headed this way for morning breakfast. So, um, I want to talk to, let's see. Do they take monetary donations? Oh, yeah, they'll take monetary donations. Oh, I'll give them 200 gold. gold. What? 200 what? gold? What? That, okay, well, what? forget that. All right, I was going to give them one. Right, but, yeah. yeah, that's for all of us. Give them one. I mean, you know, we don't get a lot of money in this campaign. I still uh, have 1,000 gold left. Don't worry, guys. Uh, uh, for 200 gold, he'll sell you his kid. What do no, you want to tell him? And then donate him to the bot. <laughs> got hey, the whoa, whoa, whoa. I think the party needs a pack mule. For 200 gold, I'm sure he might have some, maybe have some useful info. What would you like to ask him? Uh, oh, nice evil look there. No, 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 no. <laughs> what, the hell, what the heck was her name? Uh, it's their name. So, Carol can't remember because my brain is melting right now. Do you want like, the sensual cult or something else? Sonora. Actually, I was getting the Sonora. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask. Um, Not working. Do you know who this Sonora person is? Are they here? Uh, yes, I know who Sonora is, but no, she is not here. Where is she? Do you know where she is right now? Not, a clue. Back, not a clue. Where does she normally hang out when she's here? Uh, three tenths down. I believe it's with her friends. Okay. I'll look tell. for the uh, kilt looking tent. It's got okay. the tart and plaid. By the way, I'm going to write down the freaking name because I'm going to forget it. Sonora. Sonoro. Sonora. Sonoro for East Coasters, but Sonora for the rest of us English speakers. <laughs> it's like sar <laughs> well it sounds like a girl is it is a she right it is a female okay um so i don't know what news do you have do you have any other interesting news about oh i don't know the ships surrounding or um what was the oh, what was the other, what was the name of the other thing that begins with the nest the other the um the other Cult of sensual Sensua. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have heard that the cult of Sensua has a uh, robust presence with inside the walls. As for the mm -hmm. naval blockade, I understand that uh, they have called one of our greatest military generals, and he is on his way to deal with the blockade. So, and it, they're probably block keep. I guess they're blockading to keep people from going to Fulton. They don't, uh, they have shut down Yano because it is a major merchant port. So I would assume that, yes, they are stopping Yano or stopping mm -hmm. ships from going to Yano or from leaving Yano and going to Fulton and other ports. I mean, considering what, what's around here, that makes so much sense. I mean, but I, I anticipate that the blockade will be crushed, especially considering uh, Lord Bushmill's recent victory. Bushmill. He's yes, the one he should be here tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think he died, did you? I knew he died. Uh, it's the, I was going to say, the city is uh, relatively plague free. <laughs> uh, if you go to the far side of the city, you'll watch them fling dead bodies out at night. So then, 
Well, it's interesting because I... seeing everybody outside and it's already inside. So it's almost like, well, I, I thank you for the warning though. I think that's rather important to to take note of that it's that indeed has gotten in the city. Um, what else did I want to ask? Oh yeah, so, so the cult of whatever this cult. Sensual. Sensual, which I'll never freaking remember. I'm sorry, folks. I'm terrible with names. Uh, that just that's why they, they have this thing. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just take notes every once in a while. Cult of sensual. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Actually, I got. I will. Try. They're writing it on a better mm -hmm. piece of paper. So. Just be careful not to soak it in sweat because I hear it's nine thousand degrees up there in Boston. Okay, I'm like. So, uh, how long have they been in the city? And what are, do you know what their goals are? Or I mean, do they recently arrive? Or I, I have not been in the city proper, uh, so I don't know how long they've been there. I know that every once in a while they come through here and they rough some of our people up. Okay, so this may not, I wasn't 100% sure if maybe they came along with the boats from Fulton. Um, I don't think so, but I don't know. Yeah, they suck. Uh, Do I know anything about the cult of Sensua myself, as do we, Docamil? Uh, Lucas, did you get the book on that, or did he? Uh, so every book that I had, I shared with Kyle. So we both should, or I've shared the information with Kyle and the books. So I think uh, we should have the same info. I think they that you will be aware that they are attempting to find the artifacts so that they can make Resurrect sure that evil. evil remains in this world forever. Yeah. Was that part of the group that had attacked us earlier on the cliffside that led to my death? Yep. It yeah. is indeed. Sorry, it's been a while and my brain is melting here. Yeah, here's the book. That's, that's, so. um, it's 8,000 degrees where you are. Only 8,000 degrees here. Only 8. Yeah, the Cabal of Sensua book was grabbed at the Grand Academy, and it dictates that the servants of evil, a.k.a. the Cabal of Sensua, these worshippers of evil only desire the return of chaos to the land. They worship the deity Sensua, the dark beauty. Uh, this was grabbed by Lucas and shared with you, as was the properties of Scala, Trader of the Banished. Uh, Medic of the Lost Ones is Chris's. Descendants Without Duty is Lucas. And Wand of Solstice, a.k.a. the Rod of Catching from Torgal Manor, was also grabbed by Lucas. So they want, so as I recall, they want the artifacts to bring her back. Correct. Although it would seem, in the viewpoint of the Cauldron Keeper, that somebody has already released her. Wait. And like, we's all panned down to look at Lucas. Oh, son of a <laughs> In case you didn't know where that head tracking was going. <laughs> she the one, wait, was she the one in the box? You guys don't even know what you released, do you? Evil. <laughs> Evil. Evil, well. It was okay. this black dust that just continued to expand and expand. Things haven't been so good since we left the Academy. It was in a white box with black lettering that said generic evil. <laughs> um, basically, we must open. <laughs> I tried to paw at it when I was in my bear form and smashed the box open on accident. And all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> the entire world is going to hell. Uh, we're going to flip from the cauldron back over to Lucas. Lucas, after satiating your hunger with two meals, uh, it does not appear as though Perpetua is coming back uh, anytime soon. Uh, so what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to hit the town. Okay. I'm going downstairs. Okay. Uh, did you pay the proprietor with the meal or are you paying them now? I already paid. I tipped and paid the additional. That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, you see the proprietor. Give me an investigation check. Cool. Uh, that is a, what do I get? Intelligence plus three, 19. Uh, you notice that the proprietor is lambasting one of his employees, a young female gnome. Uh, he apparently is complaining that sh her work uh, ethic has been less than stellar and uh, has, point has pointed out that she is spending too much time in the cellar. Too much time in the cellar. Do I catch the name of this gnome? E12 against me. Eight. He calls her by the name Sonora. 
Interesting. Huh. So I don't think my character knows anything about the the tunnel to the outside wall. So I'm just going to leave. I, I, I don't think you know about Sonora because you and Perpetua dimension doored in quickly. You have no idea who this person is. Yeah, and I would like to note that I only joined Perpetua because it was either fight against the party or not. But, all right, cool. So that's a little bit of information I'm going to keep in the back of my head. Correct. As you go outside, it is a beautiful day. Uh, a man on a cart with uh, corpses stacked like cordwood is yelling out, Bring out your dead! Bring out your dad! But I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost there. Uh, as, uh, I feel fine. I feel happy. Happy. I love that. Book. Oh my god. Uh so uh Lucas on your map you are at number 2 on the far left. Cool cool cool. Uh where are the churches? At I catacombs. Churches are scattered everywhere. Oh, did I see the catacomb entrance? When I uh, flew over, you, you mean a big cave with a pointy sign that says catacombs? No, you you missed that one. That uh, one. I don't know. That must have been dark. Okay. <laughs> too dark. Too dark to see. All right. So churches are all over. Yep. Um. Cool. 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 I guess I am going to wait. The cellar might be a good way to get to the catacombs. You're going to do this on your own? Possibly. The uh, proprietor uh, is, is through lambasting uh, the young woman, and she heads up the stairs to go ahead and change out things uh, and apparently find some lemon pledge. Uh, like I said, as you step outside, you notice it's a beautiful day, and uh, people are they're bringing out their dead. They're bringing out their dead. Even they're mostly dead. Oh. All right. So... Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my mask. Like very good. It's very important because you will not be able to social distance. Yeah. Uh so I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my mask and I'm going to explore the town and I'm going to hit up the churches that I flew over. Uh give me now they're they're scattered throughout the city. I wanna the biggest one I saw, I wanna I wanna hit first. Well, you don't know if it's a church or not, but the biggest w- building in town is located in the center of town uh, next to a monument. Ooh, yeah, let's go check that out. I think I see it right in the middle. That's yeah, it's where... only uh, two blocks away from you. Yeah, I wanna, I'm checking that out. Uh, let's, uh, let's give you a little entertainment in the urban lands. Uh, I don't do well with people. You're going to do less with these guys. Uh, give me a percentile, please. Oh, percentile. All right. That is an 88. Your first encounter of the day, aside from the cordwood cart, uh, well, uh, the town is under siege uh, and adventurers are subject to special measures, which is precautionary detainment or mandatory military service refusal is not taken kindly ah lucas a group of guards stops you and go pardon me citizen uh we're not familiar with you are you a citizen yes actually uh my family (laughs) member lives in this town and i was visiting them right before the the siege started a while ago persuasion at advantage cool 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 uh (laughs) not shitting you (laughs) do not once (laughs) (laughs) oh really so you are not a citizen Wow. Um, oh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> when you die, like they they not... begin to blade off on you. Uh, cool. And uh, do I do I see like a rooftop past their shoulder somewhere? 
Oh yeah, you, you're you're in the main that main street there. Uh, well then, as a bonus action, I'm gonna misty step up onto a roof to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Roll initiative. <coughs> all right, all right. Initiative. Nat twenty. Fuck. Nice. <laughs> uh, a little late. Uh, you see them start to look around uh, and pull out hand crossbows. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, yeah, I, before they see me, I am going to turn into a cat. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if a resident spots you. Seven. Two. Nobody spots you. Uh, the men look around. They finally look up. And they scatter, uh, trying to find you. Cool. Now that I'm in cat form, I'm going to explore. But I'm not going to go to ground level where people might kill me for food. Uh, okay. Do you want to be on the left, or do you want to be on the top side of the road or the bottom side? Uh, top side. Okay. Uh, you are on a diner. Uh, mark number three. Uh, you do not know what this place is. This is where Perpetua uh, had a run in with somebody. Uh, so you will be able to skip over to the square one and the rectangle building. Uh, but that is as far as you can go because if you go farther up, that is a much broader street. Mm, so I so you have chosen have wisely. Ground. Yeah. Cool. Or you can go all the way back towards two, and when you get to one, you can make the leap. Yeah, whatever it takes to do this safely. I, I know this city is under siege, and they're probably going to kill any animal for food, so I'm, I'm avoiding people. Wise choice. Okay, do you see the circular statue? The Yeah, in the middle square? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you notice that it is of an individual, and you notice far off into the docks, there is a much larger one that appears to be the same thing. You also notice to its 10 o'clock, just beyond that darker black line, is a shrine. Ooh, let's check out that shrine. Well, also, do I recognize the person that's on the statue? You yeah, have no clue who it is. No, it's no just idea. some dude. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, are you going to get down? Do I have to get down to go to the shrine? I can't just like hop up on top of it. No, that dark black line. Uh, and folks, sorry, I, we can't show it to you uh, due to the uh, brisk arrangements. I do not have the ability to screen share tonight. Um, the, the darker black line indicates a much broader boulevard, unless you can jump 60 feet. As a cat, probably not. Yeah. You might be able to jump 59 if you want to give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is okay. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I am going to try and dash across the street really fast. So dash is 80 feet. So are you getting down in the plaza? There are a lot of people. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to take the side road to get over there if possible. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so you leap. Give me uh, three dex checks. You can do it at advantage since you're a friggin' cat. Yeah, I also have the ability to climb. As oh, a well, then screw it. Uh, you get down to the main thing. D12 against me. All right, all right. Seven. One. Uh, Hobo Joe spots you, and you see him. You can't see it with the beard and mustache. Oh, yeah. he, he's, he's licking his lips and he whips out a dagger. Vittles. I take off. <laughs> uh, as you take off into that major dark boulevard, uh, it is filled with people. Uh, not all of them look to be robust like they've just had two meals uh, and they spot you. I keep booking it. I think I can outrun people. Fair enough. Are you going to run towards the plaza or see if there's a back door into the shrine? Yeah, I'm going to head towards the back of the shrine. I don't want to go towards the main plaza. Give me an investigation check. All right. Twelve. Uh, it does have a back door. Oh, cool. Um, I am going to 
you hear a cacophony of noise uh, as uh, Hobo Joe and his 30 closest friends are chasing down a fresh meal. But they don't know where I went or are they right on my trail? Uh, they are not right on your trail. They know where you went because you're dashing, uh, which will give you a speed advantage, but they can still see where you went. Okay. Well, I have a stealth skill as a cat, so I'm going to try and link into this back door on see is it closed do you have opposable thumbs there cat? Uh, the door the is closed <laughs> on the shine yeah. okay shit uh i'm gonna go for now on the roof of the shrine hopefully out of sight it's pretty tall oh yeah and it's slender it's built with it's built of sheer limestone uh blocks so it's going to be rather slick. Damn it. Um, or you can continue down uh, the hallway to go to the main stretch uh, and see if you can lose them that way. You know what? I'm out of sight of everyone, right? I look around, don't see anyone. No, you can hear them coming. Okay, well, I revert to elven form. Okay, that's fair. Uh, you see Hobo Joe <laughs> skid across, uh, leading a pack of starving people. Which way did that cat go? Uh, towards the main square. They freaking blast past you. Uh, it's like gravy train when the dogs were chasing the little Conestoga wagon. And they head off. Uh, do you want to stick around the back door or wander around to the front? Yeah, I'm going to meander around to the front, right? People who aren't doing bad things go through the front door, right? I, usually, I don't have experience yeah. with this. Yes, usually. Uh, the plaza is full. Uh, it seems to be a major gathering point, and there are a lot of magistrate official types. Uh, the biggest building in town, which is across the plaza, you can tell is a governmental office. But behind you, uh, there at the 10 o'clock position off the monument, is the Temple of Marjum. 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 I go into the front door of the temple. It smells very cinnamony. Uh, the white limestone is uh, being cleaned religiously by some acolytes. And there is a large temple with a golden statue of, I guess, Marjum. I ask one of the acolytes, I would like to learn more about this Marjum. One of the cleaning acolytes? Fuck it, someone. I ask someone. Who this uh, the acolytes all look at you and go. You can't speak, I'm guessing. Fuck. Can you point to someone that can speak to me? Uh, all right. I, I points follow. up to the altar. I walk up towards the altar. Uh, it is a female in a gray cloak. Uh, uh, um. So I had a, I, I talked to this person and I say, I, I don't know much about Marjum, uh, but I had an aunt that was very dear to me in my childhood that used to follow the preachings of Marjum. And I, I feel like they, they were uh, laid to rest here many, many years back. Um, would, would you mind leading me to the, the catacombs or the burial place so I can pay my respects to Aunt Marge? Persuasion. Yeah, Marge. <laughs> That's three in a row, dude. Or no, you had a nat 20 on initiative. Yeah, nat 20 on initiative, and then ones every other time I tried to lie. I can't lie. As you've interrupted Vespers, uh, the woman turns around. Oh shit. 20 charisma. Oh Jesus. And gives this deep, husky, dusky, exotic voice. Get out of this temple for interrupting Vespers to my God. The silent acolytes put down their cleaning brushes and begin to close ranks. Fuck. All right, I guess I have to get out and try the back door <laughs> <laughs> back to Taryn Dewey and Manise. 
uh, the individual uh, asks uh, that you please, uh, because he's respectful, move along. He has the kids to feed. Uh, Manise, you will recognize these children as the pox carriers. And they're... <coughs> yeah, let's away from them. Hey, um, are we going to try the front Is this door? thing leaking? No. Yeah, <laughs> Hold on, not yet. And I pull out a dagger and just poke it. No, don't. Oh, God, you're gross. Uh, But he has already told you that the Tartan tent is the location of uh, Sonora. She's not there, and I'm thinking she might be a backup if we can't get through the front gate, because are we trying to get through the front gate by claiming we're heroes? Also, I can actually, I can reproduce that, you know, armband. I have disguised self. I also have invisibility. I can spell. Swap. I disguise self. I look exactly the same, but I have an armband. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, that was one of the tricks I was going to use for my one shot I was writing. Damn you. Um, or something. Well, you know, I don't have almost 40 fucking years of experience for not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care. Do you guys want to try the front gate? Is that what you want to try to do first? I just want to get in there the fastest way possible. What's closer, the tent or the gate? That would be the fastest way possible since she's not here. We can try that, and then if we can't get in, then we can resort to, we'll have to wait till she gets back, but we resort to finding Sonora after. But I think it's a fair shot. What do you think, Manise? I mean... I thought we were going through the front. Why not? No, okay. No, that's why I'm asking. What do you think? All right. Let's try I mean, it. Why not? What's the worst that's going to happen? They tell us no, and then we'll figure something else out. Right, exactly. What's that's- the worst that can happen? We'll be drafted into the army? Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, we know Bushmill, too, is coming here. We could always claim to be with him as well, but um, probably. Forward the- scouts. He is a nice guy. I find that lying never works. Says you? the man rolling ones. I have. <laughs> Are you rolling a D one? <laughs> I, I wish. D two. <laughs> one side's a one. The other's a twenty. Really, my net one is still a ten if I lie. So I think that's what it was. Exception is. Oh no, a nine if I lie. So. You definitely don't want to lie. Yeah, I'm even better. I, by the way, overnight I seem to have gotten a little bit better looking because my car- I took uh, I upped my charisma. You put makeup on today. Yes. <laughs> Straighten the hair. Got rid of that twig in there. <laughs> Have two eyebrows now, not one. <laughs> I've always had two eyebrows. All right, so let's go to the front gate and see what we can do. Uh, you get to the front gate and there's already a crowd. Oh, let us in, please let us in. Uh, every once in a while, spears will come out from the portcullis. Uh, keeping the crowd back uh, up above uh, the bastion is just a row of cross bowmen uh, looking grim and serious. All right. What do we, how do we distraction get- time. You want to do a distraction? What do you Throw one do? of the childs at the guards. <laughs> no. A good I'll distract- throw two. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do much, but we want to talk. <laughs> Wait, We're I shooting babies at us. I have Why is this baby already dismembered? What? Wait, oh. I, could start, I could start coughing to clear everybody out. Because that well, How bad. many other people in the mob are coughing? That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Could I not use like thaumaturgy to create some sort of a noise? Nah, I'd probably. Mm. Look around. Uh, can you construct a rudimentary lathe <laughs> for any Galaxy Quest fans out there? How many people are we talking here that we have to get through? 22, and six of them are coughing. <laughs> I mean, we could try, I don't know. I mean, is there, are the guys, how they, much is a lot of money to these people? Like 10, gold yeah, like just throw like a handful of silver yeah, or something. That's exactly what I was thinking. I grab 
a little a little just tear a piece of cloth put like a hundred gold pieces in it and then chuck it and and Maniz does his thaumaturgy thing to be like gold it's hailing gold from the skies Free gold. and they're all like oh is that what you want to do <laughs> yeah, let's uh, do that. sure as long as you don't put anybody's eye out from falling gold that's true, then. I, 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 there's no crossover. Hell. There's no crossover. Uh, you said cacophony earlier too. You know. Yeah, well, I said cacophony is a noise, a cacophony of noise. I know what a cacophony uh, is. The uh, trick works. Uh, the smattering of coins instantaneously catches everyone's attention, and there is a literal mob attacking the loose coins. Uh, you now have free reign to walk up to the portcullis. You do. Where the prickly spears are. You're muted, Dewey. <laughs> Just to clarify, I throw exactly 104 pieces of gold. Oh, are you trying to make a certain even number or something? It's something that all my gnomes have in common. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, you walk up and the spears, uh, you can see the spear holders on the other side of the portcullis. Oh, what, may, what may we do for you? I did cast Disguise Self, so I have one of those hard pants. But otherwise, I look more or less like me. Hi, we are the Heroes of Sedalis. Well, uh, we're heroes from the Academy, and you have to let us in. Yeah. Please. Where the, but where the here's the Sedalis from the Academy. We have urgent business in the city. I'll be With so whom? pissed if that persuasion works. <laughs> With whom? Um, actually, we are no. here to meet up with Lord Bushmill when he arrives. We are here oh. to help deal with your blockade in the harbor. Very good. He'll be here tomorrow. Uh, we yeah, were hoping to stay in the city tonight. Uh, uh, I'm a friend of Alvin. Alvin Knackle. We're, we're his advance team. I like practically elbow you. We're his advance team. We're here to check things out. And report to him when he gets here. Uh, D20 against me. D20 or a bluff check? Uh, D20 for right now. Since I was helping her out, does she have advantage? 11. Uh, 11 as well. Uh... Or 20 if it's a bluff. I'm not sorry, 19 if it's a bluff. <laughs> Did you walk here? Um, yes. Yeah. And We're you very somehow fast. beat... Lord Bushmill. He's yeah, no, coming he's... with an army. Armies take a lot longer than scouting parties. Yeah. <sighs> we, we, we. I hurt. can fly. <laughs> yeah. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I love lamp. <laughs> I like turtles. I mean, we rode in on a turtle. Um. Uh, <laughs> Tell the truth. I must tell the truth that we reported here, but I don't think Bushmill has any way to do it. Uh, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna have to make a better persuasive argument well, than being the advanced. Can team. I make an ins? Well, I can't subtly hint at, so I'm going to grab some more money from my pouch <laughs> in that negative three charisma style way, and just like. Can we come in, please? I'll it's actually, dirty out here. Actually, it's not just that. We have to get in. It actually has to do with all this insanity and the plague and everything else. We're here to actually help stop that as much as we... I also wouldn't mind seeing your troops get kicked out of the... Um, uh, I'm sorry, Fulton's <laughs> troops go away. That's what I want to say. Not in character, but semi in character. <laughs> you know, you probably have our pictures inside your city walls. Just check the one. We're <laughs> <laughs> really important people. Our picture is in, in the other city walls there. Uh, I promise Bushmill will want to see these people. <laughs> uh, now I will take you persuasion check, please. All right. So Advantage because we're trying to give him money. 
that he may or may not be taking. I just love the scene where Terrence doing the talking, Dewey's just passing money over, and then Moniz is just. Do I get advantage because it's helping me? No. That was not a great roll. That's a 16, because that's not a great roll. Uh, that's a 19. That is not a great roll. Uh, I am afraid the best I can do is call for the captain of the watch. And Oh, can we talk to him? We'll have to find him. He's probably eaten. Well, that's fine. Okay, Karen. Taryn. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Well, no, it was their suggestion. I did not demand to talk to the manager. Correct. Uh, I would love. Sure. I'd love to talk to him. Okay. Yeah, uh, you'll have you'll have to wait outside until we find him. Um, is right here good enough? I pick up the coins. Wait, I, can we like wait inside, like between yeah, the portcullises and everything, yeah, exactly. so you guys can defend the wall with the mob? No, and the mob has returned. And uh, Dewey, how effective were you in passing over the gold? Did you drop any outside I, I of the portcullis? Probably just. Tried to stick my hand in there. D12 against me. Yeah, oh, D12. Okay. Uh, 11. Uh, you get most of the money on the other side. Uh, but the crowd surges forward and out come the spears. Get back, you rabble. Uh, Thing we don't want. We just, we don't have to come through this crowd again. We promise we won't go anywhere until he comes. Uh, the guy next to Dewey goes, Hey, what did you? <coughs> what'd you tell that guy? <coughs> you seem to got his attention. We have the cure. <laughs> it says Drano, but it'll clean you right you, out. You've got the cure. Uh, let's see how many. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna poison. He's people. not gonna do that. Three people hear that. He's got the cure. He's got the cure uh oh. and now the crowd is surging towards dewey and he's no. got a pin next to the portcullis fortunately the guys are trying to keep him at bay uh taryn and Meniz, however uh you're gonna get shoved out of the way by mr coffee uh or you can hang out with him to see how that goes can they let us in at least to the, just the edge of the portcullis if i raise this portcullis you know exactly what's going to happen um let me see if, if there's anything i can do don't you have like a side door don't walls have side doors <laughs> I, I saw it in this uh puppet show once uh, uh you said the cure, two towers you, you, you got <laughs> yeah that's right throw the door uh while tara looks around uh lucas uh you want to go back into the alley uh yeah i'm walking back to the back okay. of that shrine uh, you see Hobo Joe and three people engaged in a fist fight. Hobo Joe has blood around his chin, uh, and one individual has a great big bite mark out of his arm. Uh, I walk up to the guys. Good call. <laughs> initiative. <laughs> and uh, my initiative is a 23. Mine's a 10. Uh, go ahead. There are three uh, combatants. Uh, Hobo Joe, the bleeder, and uh, a guy with a stick. Uh, there's three people. Mm -hmm. I pull out three gold pieces before they notice me. <laughs> and I say, hey guys, I got three gold if you answer my questions. One for each of you. Persuasion times three. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Want the, want the gold help? <laughs> want the gold help? All right, you might wait you know what? I'll, I'll give you plus one since you only gave them one gold each. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like homeless. Uh, I thought a gold was a lot. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, first roll, a seven. That's oh, Hobo Joe. Okay, next one, the bit guy. Fifteen. Okay, and uh, stick guy. Eighteen. Nice. Uh, stick guy and bit guy will be more than happy. Uh, Hobo Joe is now seeking floss. Cool. Uh, I The two guys that are paying attention to me, do you guys know where the catacombs are? Uh, bit guy. Huh? Stick guy. Sure do. All right. Can you show me where they're at? Well, they're underground. 
Catacombs are always underground. Where the entrance is at. Mm. That was a three. <laughs> so you don't know where the entrance is at? I would guess in a graveyard or a church. All right. Sounds like I wasted my gold. Hobo Joe has extricated uh, the skin from Biter and is uh, going after him again. Cool. I, I back off. I let him at it. Fuck it. These guys are idiots. These, uh, guys, these guys do not care about you. So. All right. Yeah, I, I, I walk away <laughs> while making sure that they don't approach me. So you're in the alley. You see the back door to the shrine. Uh, those three are busy. There's nobody else in here except a cat up on the roof. Is it hot and is it tin? It's a hot tin roof, cat. <laughs> mm, all right. I don't care about that cat right now. I, uh, I'm going to go to the back of this shrine <clears throat> and I'm going to listen before I open the door to see if I hear anyone. Uh, insight. Like footsteps, yeah. cleaning... Sure. People talking, even though there's some oh, people. Oh, no more it. lemon pledge. All right, so let's see. Where? What are we at? That was a nine. It sounds okay. I creak it open, or I mean, crack it open. No, <laughs> crack it open. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure that the hinges are rusty. Uh, you crack it open just as a person uh, seems to be walking into another room. Away from me, not into the room. Away from you. <laughs> oh, cool. I open it a little bit more so I can step through. This appears to be some kind of storage closet for uh, candles, vestments, uh, parchment, shit like that. Nothing of great value, but uh, standard temple supplies. <clears throat> cool. So there's communal wine? D12. Jesus, my rolls suck. 12. Uh, yeah, there is. Oh, I find the good stuff and I pocket it. It's probably in the crystal cruet. Whatever that is, I grab. One of these. Okay, I I take it. I take it <laughs> and I pocket that. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, six inches, maybe eight inches. Uh, you pocket it. Uh, it is filled with wine. Uh, go ahead and Constitution check. See if you like that wine. Uh, I haven't tried any. Well, just w when you do, just so you know, you aren't going to like it. It's grape juice. Uh, so you pocket the cruet, the crystal cruet. It's worth 15 gold pieces. Of course it is rather noticeable, uh, but you pocket the cruet. Everything else appears to be. Eh, eh. Cool. Um, before people walk into the room, I'm going to stealthily creep over to the doorway to see where that person went. Uh, it's a long hallway. There are doors on either side, uh, and it appears uh, from your reckoning uh, from being in there previously that they're headed towards the center of the temple, probably where the uh, sister fella of the gray cloak was at. Cool. I don't know why I don't do this more often, but I'm going to like pull up a mask in my hood so people don't recognize me. So when I get caught, there's not like... So you're a fucking burglar. <laughs> I'm going to be a burglar. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. Yeah, uh, I don't know why I haven't done this before. So you're in the temple of Munich, Germany in 1972. <laughs> Just waiting for somebody to come by and shoot you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to see if there's any uh, way, anything that leads down underground. So I'm going to try and find like hatch or doorways or like... I don't know, something I'm going to start investigating as I uh, go there, down this hall. There are three doors on the le your left, uh, temple right, uh, two doors on the other side. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to listen at the first door on the left and see if I hear anyone, hear anything. Not a thing. All right, I open it. Uh, it appears to be some kind of barracks. Barracks. Or Spartan-looking uh, oh. bunkhouse for... Clerics. Cool. 
Oh, right. So that probably doesn't have an entrance underground. I look around briefly to see if it maybe has another entrance. No. All right. Uh, let's check the next room. I listen and, and try the same thing. Left, right? Left. Same thing. Duplicated okay. chamber. All right. Now I'm going to try the right side of the hall. Okay. Now there were three doors on the left, two on the right. Uh, fine. I guess I'll try the last one on the left before I try the right ones. Duplicated. All right. Cool. Now, uh, first door on the right. It's a lavish chamber. Clearly somebody of note, uh, must reside here. Uh, there are many religious icons and uh, iconography, uh, muraled on the wall, uh, similar to the statue that you saw when you were inside. If you had to make a guess, uh, you probably think that this is the temple elder or head of the temple. Real, real quick. I'm going to take a dump on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just real, real quick. I'm going to push one out. D uh, D D20. Let's see if you get caught in mid load. 17. Okay. You managed to dump on the desk. <laughs> All right. Cool. Now I'm going to sneak to the last door on the right side of the hall. Uh, there is an acolyte in here, and they look at you. Oh, so I didn't hear them when I listened? No, because oh. they were reading. Okay. Uh, and the acolyte. I, I'm, my face is covered, remember? Yeah, you're like a ninja. I'm a they ninja. Do, they do this. I do that back, nod, and then back out of the door. <laughs> Close it. You, you can see a smile, and then it turns to shock. Intruder! <laughs> All right, I dart out that back door of the shrine and get the fuck out of here. D12 against me. All right. 11. Nine. Uh, you run headlong into Hobo Joe, who is chewing on an arm. Uh, Mr. Biter is on the ground bleeding out, and uh, Mr. Stick Guy is nowhere to be seen. Cool. I ignore that scene and keep going. And uh, hopefully take a side alley so if someone all else comes out that back door, they don't spot me immediately. Fair enough. Taryn, Dewey, Beniz, you're up. What would you like to do? Ter or, uh, Dewey, you are... Uh, they... Ah, uh, coin. Ah, uh, cure. Give us cure. All right, all right. There, so there's a druid out in the woods who's handing out special medicine. I think it'll help. <laughs> I, oh. She said her name, so I'm going to tell them every, uh, their name, but I don't, Kyle doesn't remember. Yeah. The, the druid. The, the hippie druid. Agnes. The hippie Agnes, thank you. A Agnes, the hippie druid. Uh, fair enough. Uh, persuasion. There are three of them, so give me three checks. What about the rest of the <laughs> crew? The rest of the crew is at the portcullis fighting off the spears. All right. And as you said, I know I know how to probably deal with or deal with a bit of that to at least thin it down. Nine. Please don't. Seven. And thirteen. The nine and the thirteen uh, push through the crowd violently, but <coughs> <coughs> can I just have yours? I gave it to the woodman with the cauldron. You were just holding it up. <laughs> no, that's this is poison. Will it cure me? <laughs> yes. Of lies. Yes, <laughs> <clears throat> oh. he, he moves on. Karen? I think I'm being sarcastic. Yes, it will. <laughs> uh, Taryn, how do you want to move these people? Okay, so I want to basically look at the you know the people we were talking to the guards i'm like tell them to look away and i can try to deal with this and i want to cast hypnotic pattern i'll warn you guys and them to look away and i, I want to cast hypnotic pattern uh that's on, a, on the rabble or the guards the rabble oh okay i'm trying to remember i'm trying to get in through legitimate means rather than you know magic the most legitimate <laughs> means of all Perhaps we can said if we we can help here at least 
clear them away so we can get through the portcullis, then we can figure out what to do from there. But so it's a wisdom save of 16. Wow. I hope that's wow bad. None of them pass. None of them yeah. even come close. They're the all, highest roll I had is a nine. So they're all staring. I mean, basically anybody, even if one of the guards or whatever is looking, but there's a swirly pattern that is just fascinating to look at. Um, uh, Dewey, Manise, straight up D20 to see if you look at it. I looked at it. Uh, oh, oh, it's a seven. It's a seven. I thought it was a one. <laughs> I got an 11. Okay, so neither one of you are looking at the pattern. The guards. No, no, no. I look I at the pattern. Work. I, I have a wisdom work. save of an 11. Dewey oh. is uh, out of it. Uh, the guards do not look at it either. So. Yeah, and I warned the guards, and I tried to warn them not to look at it. Um, hey, don't look over there. Sick people. <laughs> All right. So, so the rabble and Dewey are under the hypnotic pattern. We can drag Dewey along. Right, so will they open the portcullis now that the rabble is going to be indisposed for? Not until the captain of the watch gets here. I thought you were going to let us through just so we could wait on the other side so we don't have to be surrounded by them. We're not sick. I don't know that. Well, I have my wear own. a mask and wash our hands before. We I, I realize that you guys are heroes, but I have my orders. Your orders are, so we can't even wait just inside the gate. Mm -mm. Why not? Because that would mean you have access to the city. We're not going to go anywhere. Keep your guards on us. That we don't or have manacle access. us. Go uh, arm to ankle. I arm go... to arm. Arm to opposite arm. <sighs> when like... you run out of handcuffs, that's how you do it. I don't want to. No. <laughs> Try to think of how long this lasts. A minute. It probably is a minute. That's no, it is a minute. <laughs> yeah, up to one minute. Okay. <laughs> I got one. You got one minute. When are you guys actually going to come in the gate? I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm fucking around in here. No, why don't you turn into a freaking bird and come out to us so that you can at least hang out with us? I, I'll You're say, boy, I'll say. <laughs> uh, don't you know there are guards with, like, crossbows and there's, like, are you more I'm not turning into a bird where people can see me. You did that last night. Not that I know about that. But I turned into that. a raven in darkness. Remember, was he was a black, or you accused Manise of being a blackbird, and you got tortured by us for mentioning that. <laughs> I, I rewatched that today and busted out laughing. <laughs> That's all here, folks. That's how we roll. All right. Well, I, I just want to wait inside the thing so I don't have to get through the people to try to get and talk to your talk to the captain of the guard. That's all I want. Can't help you. Seriously. Well, what's going to happen when they all come back through? Are we going to talk to the captain of the guard? How are you going to let us in when they're all, because this only lasts for a minute. Are you, are we you should probably get going because I imagine the minute is going very quickly and we should leave now. Uh, yeah. The captain of the guard uh, has mage powers. He will be able to dispel this rabble almost instantaneously. All right. Then 10 gonna... minutes. Oh my About. <laughs> you know what spell I'm using. <laughs> Fire. So then we will go. Yes. We, we, can, we can basically wait off to the side nearby. We're going to be Fire. right back there. I'm not going to be near these people. Why, why are you wasting time at the gate? Like, why don't you guys actually try and make it into the town so we can hey, continue the campaign? Hey, Lucas, our person that we were supposed to contact is inside the city and there's guards and it's daylight. Don't bring me into this. Uh, you haven't been to the tartan tent oh, yet. We haven't been to what? You haven't been to the tartan tent yet. She's Let's not check there. the tent. It's going to be 10 minutes until the mage guy shows up. Maybe That's we'll see if we get in faster. Although there'll be a mage person waiting for us after yeah. 10 minutes. I mean, it's fine. I also have... It doesn't matter. Whoever I mean, gets us in faster. 
I mean, we could, I said, I I backed away from the thing anyways. Well, I mean, if I want to burn a bunch of spell slots, I can make all three of us invisible and we could just fly over the top if we're that annoyed. They won't see us. It's just Why didn't we start with that? Are there any like gem necklaces because hanging off the crossbow? Because I'd be blowing a lot of spell slots to do it. So I'd be blowing three. It's like one. No, Should it's have been option one. one. Yeah, you can rest when you get into the city. That's what I, I do. In spell slots when I rest. I only regain inspiration when I rest. So So how do you get spell slots back? Are they just gone forever? Uh, a, a long rest. Yeah, so we can do that in the thing, city. Today, if we are going to the catacombs right away, I kind of want some spell slots if we are going to fight undead things. If, that are if you think you're going to sure get we'll right into Alvin. the catacombs, you are not yeah. paying attention to this game. <laughs> I know there will be things there to fight. I really don't want to have go in there without spells. So I want to try this for it first, but we can do that if you really, if you people want to do that. One make- fourth level spell and you're good. No, that's that's only a minute, and I that's only a minute, and that's greater. And I'm not going to blow fourth. And I only have two, so I can't make a spell. Read your game. invisibility spell. Is it well the basic one? The basic one is one yeah. hour. Upcast it-, it to level four, and that gets three people. Oh, just do. If you ever have a question on spells, there's only one person to ask, and it ain't me. <laughs> Not even close. <clears throat> second. Hypnotic pattern. I don't know how long that lasts. It lasts a minute. I think you might be right. No, it's a minute. It's a minute. <laughs> I, I won't even double check his work. <laughs> okay, I'm not wasting my time. I mean, I guess, I mean, I could sacrifice the fourth level spot slot. I do, I mean, I kind of like to keep that for greater invisibility. Karen, um, we'll just go in, we'll talk to Alvin, and we can go tomorrow. <coughs> have all your spells. I, uh, no, that's not going to hide how it works. I already, I already, I already sensed it uh, from the guy who called us. Uh, there's I mean, things- you're not getting in through the gate. So I think you should try an alternative path because it's already been over an hour of you guys trying to get through this gate. <laughs> no, it hasn't. It's yeah, been, it's been a little bit less. I did say odd fish games about an hour ago. So I think five minutes after is when we would have started. A lot, of that get, a lot of that was not getting in the gate. It was sitting there stuffing our face full of breakfast, might I remind you. Hey, I'm getting some good information. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right. I will. I guess I can. I hate burning the fourth level spell slot, but I guess I can do that. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> so, uh, upcasting to fourth level, all three of you were invisible. Yep. Uh, d- did you make any plans on? Hey, I'm going to wait hey. right here. <laughs> <laughs> no I grab Maniza's knees before we turn invisible. That, yeah. that one, I knew one of you would get over <laughs> pretty fast. No, we'll, we can sneak. We're also, I want to make sure we're kind of out of the hole before I cast it. So That's we'll fine. Watch. So you, you will be in a not quite secluded, but a spot where you will not be okay uh, i i will allow that unless yeah. you roll a one on a d20 roll a roll a d20 taryn friggin kid yeah <clears throat> so manise can you it's carry two people one. at a time or is it just one i rolled a 15. i can barely oh. carry one i think oh so you're gonna have to carry one invisible person over and then come back and find the other invisible person she didn't roll a one though so she should be safe so manise uh taryn is clued you in this is how we're gonna do this i'm gonna make all three of us invisible dewey is gonna grab you by the knees you're gonna carry him over you're gonna come right back here i'm gonna grab you by the knees and you're gonna carry me over let's try Fair enough. Um, and ease, give me two D20 rolls. First one is for Kyle. Second one is for Taryn. Yeah, I can do this, right? Okay, yeah. All right. One, so, one, one. Uh, we got a 13 and, uh, and uh, a one. <laughs> 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 
was the one the first roll? Second roll. Oh, Taryn, <laughs> he finds you, uh, but uh, being larger than Dewey has its disadvantage as he scrapes you up the side of the wall and gives you uh, oh, gosh. three hit points of damage uh, before he is able to move off a little bit and arc his way over. Wait, All so how, how does damage and concentration spells work? She has to roll a d20. Mm-hmm. Yep. Higher than a 10. Yep. And then do we all drop or just her? Oh, we all, 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 all the same all spell. Drop. That's all just three. 13 anyways we made it. So <laughs> Nobody will notice the blood on the side of the gate. <laughs> uh, or the uh, raining of it as it goes <laughs> across the wall. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't think it was going to rain today. Another damn plague. Uh, so, uh, all three of you are over on the wall. Manise will successfully land, not on top of Dewey unless he moves. Uh, all three of you will be, uh, Taryn or Manise, you brought him. Give me an odd even, please. Odd even. Odd even. Ah, uh, that's a two. So we got even. Uh, you... Uh, will be on the right side of the gate in a small open plaza. We are like at the guards. All right, let's go to the shrine of Echis. <laughs> you you are actually in between a bunch of buildings. Right. Yeah. Where's where where's what's in the all right? So now that we're actually in, what's the name of the uh, question? I'm hitting my studio lighting. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) um, Are we invisible distance or whatever of said gate? You cannot see said gate. You have passed over. You've passed over the gate, passed the first row of businesses into a small little garden, as they would say in England. Don't just uh, want to, you know, go out from invisibility in the girls like, what the hell are you doing? No, no, no. We, we can be invisible for an hour as long as I don't friggin' take damage. No, no, I know, but I just, in, in the event that we were going to drop and just mosey like we've been here the whole time. Are you going to drop it or keep the invisibility up? I'll keep it up for now. You will have to verbalize what you guys are doing because you right. cannot see each other. Right. Currently, there is nobody in this garden. I mean, well, I'll ask them. Do you guys want to be visible? Or do you think it's better to proceed invisible? Let's That's- go invisible because I can see a lot of opportunity for pranking. Long Old hands, guys. I mean, I mean, <laughs> hiding. Paris Bueller. What's the name of the shrine that we're going to? Icus. You're trying to find the shrine of Icus. Did I know about this Icus shrine? Nope. Nope. You <laughs> found Icky that shrine. while you were... You, you guys got uh, close enough in and Perpetual blinked in. Interesting. Cool. And they're invisible, so I won't see them. Not even a smidge. <laughs> cool. So I look? guess we're just going to be strangers in this town. No, but, uh, <laughs> you feel something brush up against you, but there's nothing there. All right. I will say this. We should try to find um, we should try to find Lucas. We should set up a home base operations, probably close to the shrine of Icus, and then and then go searching for him. I mean, actually, I do have. I did take sending, so I can actually message him. Oh, that would have been good to know. <laughs> yeah, but you decided to fart it's around. Drama, so like, Lucas. Fun. Now that we're here, and we can actually try to find you. Yeah. So yeah. let's let's find a place to stay. Yeah. By the Shrine that. of Vegas. That sounds good. And well, are you going to message there. me? there. Because I'll let you know where I'm staying. <laughs> that's that's fine. And we don't have to stay in the same hotel. Maybe it's better. All right. Uh, so, he's he's so, in a pretty nice place. Do we have any clue where the Shrine of is? He's got the map. That's the I've got the map. Part. I know where everything's at. Everything is, everything oh, he right doesn't now. know what the map means. I go out to the person on the street and say, "Excuse me, where's the shrine of Icus?" You're invisible, dingy. I told you. Do you want me to make you visible? God? 
<laughs> yes, yes. Of Icus. I'm why, looking why for is my so shrine. short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask again. Do you want do you want me to make us visible? You said no, but maybe let's, in order let's go maybe in town a little bit further and and then drop it maybe? I, I, okay. I don't know. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Uh, just just let me know when to drop it. Where where you're at there are four exits, four like gated, small gated area. This is a nice little garden area. There yeah. might even be a small um fountain here uh you can go northwest northeast southwest or southeast out of this small garden area and you will know you will know that the gate is south and west which way is the center of town one of the norths let's take northeast northeast or northeast Northeast finds you in another small garden with an alley leading out to a main boulevard. All right. Um, which way, guys? Uh, to the main street, and we should probably turn visible before we go on a main street. Yeah, you don't want to run into a bunch of people invisible. That will cause a ruckus. That's true. Well, it's true anyways. Uh bump into invisible people it'd just be weird all right we'll go towards the main street and just before that we'll find a place out of the way and i'll drop the spell all right uh dewey your turn go ahead and give me a percentage roll to see the first person that you deal with uh who will be the most wonderful person that (laughs) we meet the entire time we're there uh three You ran into a hobo that bites people. <laughs> ran into a hobo who's missing an arm. He's strangely gnawing on it, though. Uh, you pass by a, a wall filled with flyers. Uh, the flyers point out uh, that there is a job for willing people that pays food. Uh, and apparently there have been some building construction accidents of a questionable nature. Uh, solid meals are available for successfully resolving this problem. And you see an individual uh, tacking up these flyers. Looks like a basic burly construction guy, maybe Barney Rubble-esque with better clothes. Hi, or, or you can flyers. continue on. Uh, question. Are there sure. any wanted flyers along this wall that he also happens to be? That's a great question. Dewey's intelligent. He's there just are. Wise. We there walk any, on by. <laughs> are there any faces on any of them? There are faces on them. No, there I are three. Any familiar faces? No. He's oh, okay. uh, that it's, Seems to be typical criminals. Okay. Um, well, we can always ask that guy. Yeah. Where uh, excuse me, sir? Yes. Sir? Uh, uh, we're here. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 you, what you need? We uh, just got off of quarantine and we're now being allowed into the city. We're no, fine. no, we're okay because we're off quarantine now. Here, I'll put <laughs> ah, my... shit. <laughs> we don't know where the shrine of Icus is, and we're looking for the shrine, but we also do work <laughs> like this too. What do you mean you don't know where the shrine of Icus is? You live I've here, never... right? No. We, we just got off of quarantine, I said. We're adventurers being allowed into the city. We're here to help. So you wear jewelry on your arm? We're from the academy. Right. Okay. This guy's a dullard. He doesn't know what the fuck you are. Where's the Shrine of Icus? That's right. On the docks. On the docks. There's yeah. crypts underneath the Shrine of Icus by the docks? Well, there were. What do you mean there were? Huh? Underwater. <laughs> he he taps the flyer. It's uh, the scene of a construction accident. Oh no! Oh, your friend you know is Alvin dead. Knackle, a gnome. <laughs> Not a clue. So what but do you? You don't know what quarantine means, is so that's fine. I'll roll he doesn't know a lot of stuff. So wait, so wait, so. 
those flyers are for the spot we are looking for. What? So what? What is this accident that happened? Well, there are five different accidents, as you can tell. Uh -huh. And, and there are five different names on these posters. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we we're doing some renovation work, and uh, yeah, and, and, and you know, uh, yeah, there was some cost overrun. There was some damage, uh, you know, unintended damage, and uh, maybe a small fire or two. You know, you know how that goes. Uh, and uh, and uh, you know, stuff happened. But if it's bada so bing, bada boom. But if it's exactly. bada bing, bada boom. I like you. You you've got. Uh, Moxie. <laughs> but, if, but if it's so mundane, why? I mean, I guess maybe that's why food is the reward. Um, well, food is scarce. Yeah, you know, uh, we were in a quarantine too. I mean, you know, there's not a lot of food in here. Uh, and, you know, uh, the mayor, he's, 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 he thinks there's something nefarious going on here. Uh, and, you know, so the guild, you know, we're uh, we're gonna foot the bill. Yeah, you know, clear our name. Um, can I have? Do you have the flyers you could give us so we could take with us for reference? That one right here, Darren. He, he ought to tack one into your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he gives you one. You want the uh, uh, the Icus place? You want one of them? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Wait, yeah. they're happening all over the place. Yeah, there were five different accidents. <laughs> I thought it was five different accidents in the same place. Yeah. Oh, Is I it did. five different accidents in the same place or five separate accidents? Five locations. I will grab a flyer from each of the locations, but the rest of them don't matter. Okay, Ickes. Fair enough. Let's, let's, I guess let's head down towards the docks then and see if we can find a place to stay, and then I'll try to contact Lucas. Where are they going to pass by me? Because didn't I like... They're going to go by the central square, which I'm behind. You, you are at the central square. Uh, yeah. it, it's going to depend on which roads they take, but most likely they're going to have to pass through the central square. Uh, where are you? Okay, you are there. Uh, you have your choice. A major thoroughfare cuts left to right, but if you go farther right, it's just a basic street. You can continue north uh, along a promenade. Uh, into another boulevard, uh, a major thoroughfare, a boulevard, and then a promenade in that order as for width and uh, density. Uh, whatever's quickest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know where you're going, so you have no idea. Are there any taxi carriages-like services? Uh, all the horses have been eaten, and there are no rickshaws. No, we're gonna yeah, hang on a second. Let, let's see if there's a rickshaw. Got an Eric Cockra. Ooh, close. Uh, no rickshaws. One of us. Not three. Not both of us. So you, you guys have no idea where you're going. You know the docks are most likely north is the best you can do. So you can take the boulevard, the promenade, or the alleyway. I want to go. I think sticking to main thoroughfares would be best, so probably the boulevard. Yeah. Terran percentage. Uh, I hope you run into some guards and fail like I did. <laughs> Nobody uh, fails like you did. To be fair, she did <laughs> fail getting us in the gate. Yeah. yeah that was we... never going to be an option. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll let you walk right in. <laughs> 29. <sighs> Rolling low. I don't know if low is good or high is good. <laughs> or just is. I think you have a piss pot coming your way. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, these are all random. Okay. I I and they were not made by me. Uh as you walk down the road, a psychopath chooses to take his angst against life out on the people in the street. He releases 25 pounds of marbles in the general area and then begins to shoot poison bolts at the group and other bystanders. The marbles make the terrain very slippery for everyone but himself because he does not move. Pew, pew. 
Hey, I'm glad we ran back into each other. <laughs> uh, everybody, you guys, you guys roll initiative. Okay. I love the marbles and poison. Nat 20. I, I, I naturally. I, I nat 20, right? The 24. I'll, or Dewey? 15. Uh, all of you beat uh, the maniacal jackass. What do you guys want to do? Uh, if you're going to approach him for melee, it's going to be difficult terrain, and you will need to roll dexterity. I will cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. Uh, uh, so we want to take this guy down. That is. Because he's shooting poison. Yeah, because you're heroes. Oh, Shiza, another nat 20. Oh. Oh. Hey, uh, he's Lucas. Gone. Lucas, in case you haven't noticed, that's how Do you I roll again, right? I uh, know you roll the damage, roll the damage again, and add the modifier. No modifier, but yeah. So you'll roll the damage twice. First level? Or did you go up? Did you go up, my knees? Seventh level? <laughs> it's just a 16d6. <laughs> If you saw the movie Swordfish, his blood is on that marble that rolls yep, yep. Wolverine. <laughs> uh, that'll be 33 radiant. Oh, he didn't, he didn't need to go up to 7th level. That guy is a wet spot in the oh, street. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. That was <laughs> and we disassociate me. ourselves from a knee <laughs> because he just murdered someone in the street for rolling marbles. <laughs> D12 against me, Madiz, <laughs> to see if he got a shot off. Shooting Eleven. Five. He did not get a shot off. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll say he did get a shot off as he was falling. So it goes straight up. Oh, no, don't hit him. Don't hit him. If you've seen the movie Spy, right into the groin. <laughs> right in the shot. Like he knows, though, he's, a, he's friggin' dead before, he, but before the shot came down and did that. What so, do we do? congratulations, you've killed somebody. You are he now did. murderers in this town. <laughs> uh, you all believe that perhaps a hasty retreat might be in yeah. order, even though this guy was a uh, quote-unquote psychopath. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we just go. Which hey, direction? Heroes! Which direction? I'm going to make the most of my fake badge, by the way, because I threw this. <laughs> well, that, that doesn't give us license to murder people in the street. Yeah, I don't know what you it think that allows, but that ain't it. <laughs> and, and it was self-defense. He was he was throwing poison darts at people or shooting. He was? He was? I don't, I don't recall him hitting anybody. Or uh, shooting I think he anybody. shot himself in the groin. <laughs> I don't know if he was going to hit. He was shooting that outward, but he had a gun. Put him down. <laughs> he had a gun and he stepped on his throat. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so you guys, which direction are you going to run off? Probably uh, to a back alley, but still northward. No, wait. I don't want to go in southward a to a back alley and then we'll juke northward. So the witnesses see us going south. Okay, okay, that's fair. Uh, you juke down the alley. You want to go left or right after that to juke back? Left. Your left or your right. Okay. Uh, you find yourself on a main drag. Uh, if you look to the right, you'll see a main gate, not the one that you had trouble with. If you look to the left, it kind of curves. It's a very wide uh, road, and you see a large statue in the middle of a plaza. So we're like in the center of town then? We can... uh, yeah, you got to choose left if you want to go to the center of town. Left is where we wanted to go north towards hopefully docks. Correct. Uh, Lucas, uh, you are on the corner where you jumped up as a cat. What would you like to do? I am going to... <clears throat> you can see the plaza from where you're at. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to go find some people that ask questions. Tons of people in the plaza. Uh, the vendors are there already uh, for what they have. Uh, the goods they have are limited. Ooh, I need to find um, 
something in the plaza, potentially clothes, so I have disguises, so I can change jackets. Oh yeah, uh, there, there's an individual called Goodwill Hunting uh, that has a lot of clothes. I go to Goodwill. Fair enough. Uh, how may I help you, kind sir? Uh, I want a jacket. Uh, he presents one with small rhinestones in it in the shape of a cat. <laughs> That's beautiful. How much? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't really part with this for anything less than 15 silver. 15 silver? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Unless you have a sandwich. I'd um, trade it for a sandwich. You'll trade it for a sandwich. Unfortunately, I don't have a sandwich. I do have this wine. Will you take this communal wine and this awesome 15 gold piece crystal something or other? You bet your ass I will. Cool. Also, can you tell me, would you happen to know where the entrance to the catacombs are? No? The shrines, maybe? Shrines? Where, where, where would they be? Well, there's one right over there. Uh, no, nah, I checked there. <laughs> uh, uh, there's one over there to your right uh, on the south side of the plaza. Uh, there's one straight ahead and to the right next to the governmental office. It's a triangle. Uh, and there's a couple more towards the docks. Uh you hear some screaming. From what direction? Right. South. South? Mm-hmm. Mm. Probably want to avoid the screaming. Uh, so, yeah, I take the jacket after I trade him the wine, and I, I thank him. It's a Hello Kitty jacket. Oh, I'm Einstein's. totally loving it. Um, totes, baby. Totes. It's something I can change into after I do my crimes. <laughs> I don't no. want to be spotted. <laughs> Arthur Cazzarelli. <laughs> uh, cool, man. So I'm going to go check out the shrines, preferably not one next to the government building. because uh, You want the one on the south? That's wide open. South? Mm-hmm. Uh, so towards the docks? No, be away from the docks. Uh, the docks is the southernmost part of the map. No, the docks are at the top. Yeah, the top is south, based on the legend you have on the map. Well, I, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, north. You are correct. North. Oh, okay. Um, fuck it. I haven't checked out the shrine yet, so why not? It's the Church of Kalos. Kalos? All right. I know. Do I know anything about Kalos? Religion check. All right. Religion. I get no bonuses. 15. Uh, God of fortune and luck. Woo. I haven't been lucky lately. I go in. Uh, it is got gold leaf everywhere. This place is the shit, uh, for money. Oh, I, uh, I approach someone hopefully not doing prayers. I don't want to interrupt anyone. I learned <laughs> there are three individuals. They're dressed as priests, not acolytes, not high priests, but priests. Each one sits at a different table. One of the tables has dice. Oh. One of the tables has cards. And one of the tables is a great big wheel. Let's go to the wheel. We're going to the wheel. Uh, this priest is Pat Sajak. Oh. And he says, what can I help you with? My, uh, my good man. I'll play a game if you tell me where the catacomb entrance is. Sure. Uh, I can help you out with that. All right. How much to play? Uh, 20 gold pieces. Oh, shit. Kalos doesn't do anything small, my friend. So regardless if I win or lose, you're going to tell me where these uh, the entrance is? That's the agreement? Persuade me. All right. Persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> that time, a 17. Of course. Oh, cool. Yeah, then we, we, we are nothing if not truthful and okay. lucky. 
I will, yeah, they probably cheat, but <laughs> I'm probably. sure I'll buy in 20 gold pieces. <coughs> I spin me, the wheel. Give me a D20 and match me. Match you? 16. Yep. Two. Nah, nah, nah. All right. Well, there are three entrances to the catacombs, my friend. Oh, cool. Where? One is in the governmental offices. One is at the Chapel of Icarus. And one is at the barracks. Cool. Well, two of those seem uh, unapproachable. So where is that Icarus place? Uh, it is to the south, according to your map. Um. Do you see the square building next to the white plaza near the docks? Yeah. That's where it's at. Cool. I, I thank him and I wish good luck on him. And then I leave. Fair enough. Uh, Taryn, Dewey, Maniz, Perception. Perception 19. Mm-hmm. Hello uh, Kitty Jacket. Perception 21. Uh, yeah, they both be 13. Uh, Taryn, you notice that you have made it to the plaza and it appears to be market day, although there is shit for goods here. Uh, Dewey, Beniz, uh a sparkle catches your eye as a subject in a strange jacket just glimmers like a deity. Uh, but when they turn... Uh, you notice, uh, isn't that Lucas? Oh, because you are coming out of the alley right next to the church of Kellos. Lucas! <gasps> Do, I hear that? Do I hear the shout? I would imagine he's probably quite loud. Go ahead and roll a D20. <laughs> All right. For, with, to perception? For by the way just d20 what did oh, you say okay. Taryn? i look the direction that uh dewey is looking at uh lucas you hear Taryn, you see oh cool i i i, I uh, wave crazy adam <laughs> lucas that's great uh, yeah, we're yeah. okay after we saw the punks kids <laughs> you you beat the rap on the molesting case good job <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maniz, give me a percentage. Uh, I I approach them. Okay. Cool. You run down. You you run into a psychopath. What is it, Maniz? Forty-seven. Oh. Well, it's prostitutes. <laughs> Run into Lucas. <laughs> it's, preg- it's pregnant <laughs> prostitutes. Oh. The best guy. <laughs> Two for one. That's what I call it. <laughs> there are five pregnant prostitutes plying their wares. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I, you know, I'm just reading this shit. I am not. I didn't write it. I didn't. Hey, ladies, ladies. Where did you get this? Do we hear? Big fan. There are He's 650 the city encounters. Where did you get it from? Jesus. Internet. That's really cool. Oh, okay, that explains it. Yeah, I have no idea where I got. I, I, I usually Born look for random tables. <laughs> it is today. <laughs> and apparently, these are four stars. Love them and leave them. Dot oh. com. Uh, so, so the prostitutes are attempting to ply their wares. Who wants to speak with the prostitutes? Uh, I notified the prostitutes that Dewey is looking for companionship. What? No. And walk away with him. <laughs> well, Luca, Lucas, what would you like to tell them? I can see. <laughs> It's just snapping away. <laughs> Lucas, what do you want to say? Uh, so if you ever swim, do you ever realize that you're kind of like a human submarine for your baby? I don't know if you know this, but I think all of us are mostly men on this podcast. And Carol, I don't think you've had a baby, right? No, but I it, it makes sense. 
you need to have one to know how it works. What is a submarine? Mm. And how much money do you have? Wait, did- Leaf Stranger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't have much. Mm. I get most of it away. <laughs> I use this opportunity to break away from the prostitutes and the whores. Fair enough. Uh, Lucas is now so surrounded, <laughs> surrounded by the hookers. Uh, and let's see what they look like. I'm tempted to try to save him. <laughs> a three, a two, a ten, an eleven, and a thirteen. Wow. Lucas, the two and the three have really latched onto you, and they point out that they are the economic choice. Economic choice. Huh. Okay. So, uh, ask them, do you... Syphilis makes you crazy. I'm just throwing that out there. Syphilis makes you crazy. All right. Uh, I, I also am going to remove myself from the situation. Uh, They're going to glom onto you until you pay them off. Hey! Pay them I, off. I, uh, you know what? No, no, no. If they're really hassling him, I'm going to step in. I'm going to pick one of the ones really, uh, really uh, cling to him, and I want a vicious mockery them. Yeah, oh, Terry's got what, one's got a wow. two, and one has a three charisma. What What are you going to tell them <laughs> that they don't already know? <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> you gotta call a butterface, right? Come on, two and a three. These ladies. I give guess. each of the ladies twenty gold, and I say, please leave us alone. Ladies. No, no, to- don't be mean. They're pregnant. Uh, no, <laughs> to be a half. Sharon is gonna cause a miscarriage. Should be wanted for murder times two. <laughs> don't tell them that. They don't know that. Um. So. Uh, I mean, to be so- fair, me and Manise know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking away slowly. <laughs> I back off as well. <laughs> Taryn is up front and center. All right, guys, let's go. Are you going to vicious mockery them or going to let cut or do we pay them? Uh, no, I'm totally going to vicious mockery. I'm basically good because I wanted to do the insult. My God, with the way you look, you should be paying him to be with them. Make a save. Oh, that was a good roll. Well, that's that's kind of harsh. 19. <laughs> and you, make, you make it anyways. You make it. And so. 15. <laughs> uh, the 15. No, no. It'd only be one target. I was going to pick the oh, two. Oh, 19. It's fun. It's Sweetheart, fun. I already know that. <laughs> Here you no, go. Okay. Here we you go. go. No, no, no. I told Five you. of them, you said? No, and I started this. pushing Taryn out of the way. <laughs> like, no. And she tells bad jokes, too. Dewey. Uh, you guys have a good evening. This is terrible. What's the matter with you? Dewey, stop giving away all our freaking money. We actually may it's need It's not our it. money. It's my money. We may it's need not a point. it. And uh, <laughs> we also may need it. Hey, guys, I found that one of the entrances to the catacombs is at the shrine of, like, Icus or something. Yeah, that's... No, you know. Not the shrine. Not the shrine. Not the shrine. Whatever. Let's go. The... You know where it is? Uh, yeah, I, I uh, altar. the altar, right? The altar. Was yeah, the altar. I, I'm pretty sure I know where it's at. It's by the docks. I flew over the town last Wait. night. It's uh, I think I know what shrine we're talking about. Wasn't it should it be the, in shambles. Wasn't it the shrine of Icus? At least I uh, remember the shrine called the shrine. That's what my friend Will told me. Yeah. Yeah. I, that sounds like that's correct. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Stop Can insulting we- the pregnant prostitutes. And let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. There it is. Right there. Uh Women Mm -hmm. power. Women stick together. Never. Bullshit. That is a bullshit line. Uh, This is a good place to stop because now you have mostly uh, reconnected and you have a direction to go to. So let's go with final thoughts. We'll start with Kyle this time. Kyle, final thoughts. I'm still in the quadruple digits of gold and i think i've spent maybe about five six hundred gold tonight i think i want i think okay. I want- yeah, yeah. <laughs> great 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 story Kyle. thank and you you're welcome. <laughs> thanks bragger uh you're yeah. up. carol you're up final thoughts hey, you know what there was one question that should have been asked hey lucas where's uh perpetual 
Yeah, yeah that, that would that would have been a good question to ask, I think. Yeah. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> Did she wait? She left. Uh, you know what she does. Whatever she wants. She's a free have- spirit. Shit. Did she, what about the item? What about the item? What item? The orb. We all oh, the know. orb? The yeah. Benoit? Yeah, I got it. No, I'm not talking about the ring. That <laughs> I know you don't know you have. Okay. He went there, man. He went there. I'm keeping uh, it in a safe place. Lucas, <laughs> or Ernest, final thoughts. Uh, wow, that was that was a lot of chaos. I feel like I had hadn't really made much progress. Just... Well, and, and that was the design. Okay, hey, you yeah. know what? Progress is coming back together and yeah. being a tight knit family again. I well, that insults pregnant prostitutes. I <laughs> shat on one high priest desk. Yeah, and Thanks. then I found another temple that we can rob later that I'm sure has lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Kyle, it's better yeah. than sleeping with said pros- prostitutes and murdering them. Who did that? I, Not me. That Not was Lucas. The one in this party. Oh, that was, that was me. Yeah, uh, I did yeah. do that. Didn't Blanche I? Devereaux. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Last but not least, Maniz, final thoughts. I didn't die. No. <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, that that's like six in a row for you. Yeah, so we'll, we'll fix that. We'll if fix you were gonna get hit by that fig, I thought you were gonna die right then and there. I thought something <laughs> was gonna happen. I'm just glad you managed to scrape Carol up the side of the wall. <laughs> it was only what three points. Oh no! And that no, charisma God. she gained up from the level is gone. But it, it could have <laughs> resulted no, in you guys that. being spotted uh, and shot on site uh folks this has been murder hobo inc the campaign edition thanks for watching please follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our crap uh i'm sorry quality merchandise uh go ahead and see it there if you want a spot on this uh program go ahead and let us know we'd love to have you uh there's something about uh being an odd fish gamer or adventure sense which offers a variety of accessories for your adventuring uh, party's needs don't get the sewer one i'm not shitting you that thing i don't know how they did it but that thing stinks uh check your gen cons uh, dot com slash online uh, type in fill bar uh, type in uh, rpg cat and you'll find uh, the offerings from our sponsor and from me as well uh, odd fish games uh, suggestion is going to have up to 20 people per session two sessions uh, the fill bar adventures four people two hours each uh, seating is going to be limited and if it's like regular gen con those sons of bitches are going to sell out by one o'clock. Uh, not bragging, just saying. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. We'll see you on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Uh, let's all cough into the camera and <laughs> wash your hands. <laughs>